This is an example of a Froment engine and is a revolving armature engine. In the years following the discovery of electricity, the experimenters of the day adapted steam engine design and practice as this was all they knew. Nearly all of the early electromagnetic engines that were developed are of reciprocating design using beams, connecting rods and flywheels. Although these engines worked and are beautiful in operation, they were very inefficient for all the reciprocating parts had to be continually accelerated. It was the French engineer Paul Gustave Froment who made the breakthrough. He placed the armature plates onto the revolving flywheel, so greatly increasing the efficiency of the engine. In this example, four armature blades are arranged on a flywheel and directly above an electromagnet. As the armature blades approach the magnet, a cam-operated switching system energizes the magnets, pulling the armature around. As the blade becomes level with the magnet, the power is switched off and the flywheel continues to turn, bringing the next blade around and so on. The brake piece, or contact points, to control the timing, are mounted in a contact housing which is fully adjustable and operated by a cam fitted to the shaft. Further fine-tuning is possible with the timing plate screw. From its placing of the armature plates onto the revolving flywheel was to lead the way to the modern electric motor. This OMC3 Froment engine works on 4.5 volts DC. Examples of this model engine are available in kit form from the old model company in England.